This film is about the power of prayer and the necessity of prayer in our lives. It's what opens up the floodgates for God to come down and be involved in our everyday circumstances. To win any battle, you've got to have the right strategy and the right resources. But oftentimes, when it comes to prayer, it's a wish to the wind. A lot of people don't pray because they don't believe it works. But unfortunately, it doesn't work because we don't really pray. God calls us to a much deeper level of faith. He has us fight, not human flesh and blood, but fight the war that is in the heavenlies. That can only happen from our knees. This movie is about a husband and a wife who have a marriage that's hanging on by a thread. There's one thing we do well, it's fight. I'm just tired of her nagging me. All right, I just don't need that. I don't need her junk, Mike. And an older, wiser woman comes into this young wife's life and shows her how powerful a weapon prayer can be in helping to keep her family. You must be the real estate agent. Well, it's so good to meet you. Let me show you the house. This is my favorite place in this house. I call it my war room. You wrote prayers for each area of your life. Prayer strategy. I sure could use some of that. I appreciate you coming this morning. Coffee will be ready in a couple of minutes. Oh, sounds good. Mm -hmm. Now, I ran a sales report from the area. Wrote down a suggested asking price for the house. Mm-hmm. Well, what do you think? Mm-hmm. Now, what did you say your husband did for a living? Um, well, we actually haven't talked about that, but he's a sales rep for Brightwell Pharmaceuticals. Mm-hmm. And uh, where did you say you attended church? Well, we occasionally attend Riverdale Community. Mm-hmm. So you would say you know the Lord? Yes, I would say I know the Lord. You think the Lord is okay with this asking price? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you have children? Miss Clara, my husband Tony and I have been married for 16 years. We have one daughter, her name is Danielle, and she's 10. She enjoys pop music and ice cream and jumping rope. Oh, well, that, that's good to know. Now, you say you attend church occasionally. Is that because your pastor only preaches occasionally? Miss Clara, I really would like to help you sell your house. That's why I'm here. As far as my faith is concerned, I believe in God, just like most people. He's very important to me. Mm -hmm. Well, let me get our coffee. So if I asked you what your prayer life was like, would you say that it was hot or cold? I don't know that I would say it's hot. I mean, we're like most people. We have full schedules. We work. But I, I would consider myself a spiritual person. I'm not hot, but I'm not cold either. Just, you know, somewhere in the middle. Here you go. I've got cream or sugar if you need oh, it. Oh, no, thank you. I like it black. Miss Clara, you like your coffee room temperature? No, baby, mine's hot. You need to do your fighting in prayer. And you need to kick the real enemy out of your home with the word of God. It's time for you to fight a little better. It's time for you to take off the gloves and do it. Lord, and you are mighty and you are merciful. Praise you, Jesus. Guide me to who you want me to help. Raise up more that will call upon your name. Raise up those that love you and seek you and trust you. Lord, we need an army of believers and will stand on your word above all else. Raise up warriors, Lord, who will fight on their knees. Who will worship you with their whole hearts, Lord. Lord, call us to battle. That we may proclaim you King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I pray these things with all my heart. Raise them up, Lord, raise them up.